Good morning, South Texas. Welcome back here to 3 News with us. Starting the morning off 47 degrees, so it is a chilly start, but not as chilly as what we saw yesterday. Feels like it's at 40 degrees. We'll notice that those chances for rain are going to start to move into place as we get closer to lunchtime, and then we'll start to notice that even winds are going to start to pick up just a bit as well. Expecting afternoon highs to reach upper 50s, low 60s, certain areas, and I do think that a lot of that cloud coverage so it's going to help keep things on the cooler side for us today. But rain that we're expecting again, once again, we'll start to notice those isolated to widely scattered showers really moving in by lunchtime. But things are going to start to crank up as we get closer to midnight. We notice that this chance for those severe thunderstorms are going to move in more of those overnight hours heading into Monday morning. So if you have any morning plans, you're getting up bright and early. Definitely want to make sure that you have that rain jacket and umbrella as you're heading out the door and pretty much all the day tomorrow. We're going to continue to see this on and off chance of these isolated severe thunderstorms as we continue out throughout the day. So we definitely want to make sure that you guys are prepared for that. We noticed that things are going to start to warm up as well. For one, we have winds going to shift out the south. That's what's going to drive in a little bit more moisture as well as warm temperatures up tomorrow trying to reach the upper 60s and maybe even touching 70s, but we notice as you go closer inland, that's when you guys are not going to be seeing as great or as warm of temperatures because we're going to be receiving that more moisture and that humidity along the coast. As far as what rain coverage looks like just tomorrow only, already some areas are going to be seeing an inch even two or greater than that with the rain chances that we'll see tomorrow. And once again, rain is expected all week, so those totals are just going to continue to shoot on up here for us in the coastal bend. Here's Tuesday rain chances, not as strong of a greatest chance of that severe threat, but the threat is still there as well as heading into Wednesday as well. Now, once we hit Thursday, that's when those showers more so looks isolated, but still want to make sure that you're being cautious of that and Friday as well, expecting things to clear up just a little bit, but still once again, that chance for rain is still going to be in the mix for us overall from tomorrow lasting until this same time today. This is what we're looking like for overall rainfall accumulation. Areas that are going to be closer to Houston are going to be hitting four inches of rain. So definitely want to make sure that those low lying areas are prepared for possible flooding or things like that. Want to make sure that you're staying safe during this time. And we're also watching once again those levels at the watershed. We're going to receive a lot of rain, not as much as what we'll see here in Corpus Christi, but overall we'll still get some water going into those much needed areas that we need across the coastal bend. Overall rain chances look greatest to come in tonight heading into Monday morning. Things are still going to be in a place once again, but more so look scattered and are going to continue to fall after that. As far as heading on the water, not the best day to do so. It is going to be a moderate rip current risk and effect and choppy on the bays and waves up to eight feet today. So not the best day to be outside. Want to make sure you are prepared for what today holds, especially if you're going to be driving or doing any areas driving from multiple cities across the coastal bend tonight overcast and showers still the same story for tomorrow even a greater chance of those storms temperatures warming up with those southerly winds moving into place this is what gusts looks like today getting close to 26 miles per hour this morning and then dying down a little bit from there in seven days rain chances are on the forecast every single day we notice those two fronts aren't going to really alter those afternoon temperatures. What we're going to be watching is what those morning lows are going to be. Maybe just a few degrees difference, but little is all we can get with that.